just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. And the Gamecocks come to the line in the hurry up. After the incompletion, they go back up top. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. Quarterback checking off. Looking to throw, it's Sellers. Shoots it to the left. It's complete. Finds a crease at the 20. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. The Gamecocks come to the line with a new set of downs. From the red zone, looking for a space. Oh my god, that's fucking cool. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, South Carolina! Let me tell you, that opening script was a masterpiece. Send that baby to Hollywood and it's a blockbuster. I think so. And A-listers all over the field for this offense. You saw some of the playmakers they've got in the speed. Great job going out and executing on that opening drop. Fielded in the end zone, it's Lewis. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. So the Troy Trojans offense will take the field for the first time. And how about this matchup of a couple of guys who just don't get tired and don't mind being handed the football, Jesse? And I love this matchup, too, because in modern football, it's all about throwing the ball and spread and tempo and air raid offenses. Let's go back to Toten the Rock, old school, two of the best running backs in the business here. And the defense is now, like, they know the challenge. They know these guys are going to tote it. They got to be physical, committing guys to the box, not letting these running backs have success to them. Almost had the completion, just missed it. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. The play action fake. Snagged on the outside. It's Taylor. Oh, a big decision here early as they leave the offense on the field in their own territory. They want to keep this opening drive alive. On fourth down, trying to find his man. Fires a ball, and now it's picked off. Looking for more room. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. I tell you what, it puts you in a tough position when you're backed up inside your own 20 trying to come out. But when you're a defense and you can force a turnover, and you already set your offense up in scoring position, they are going to be extremely happy, and that offensive coordinator is going to look extremely smart. Got it! He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. Well, the play fake on the RPO bought the receiver some time to work himself open on the route. That was a man-to-man -man coverage on the defense. Nice job by the receiver <clears throat> getting his foot in the ground and separate. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. And the Gamecocks will try to punch it in on first and goal. Quarterback will audible. To the air. It's Sellers. It's complete to the left. And he won't be able to get in as the defense gets him down at the one. Well, he comes up with the reception, but not a lot of room to run after that. Yeah, and I like the QB doing this. I mean, I'm going to find ways to give him the football and see if he can make a miss. And I'm going to bet most of the time that my guy is a little bit more athletic than that defensive guy. Defense won this battle, but I like trying to get this guy the ball in space. Just couldn't find a hole in this defense. They were ready for him and forced him out of bounds and no gain on the play. Wants to fire it in the end zone on third and goal. And he'll be knocked down at the two-yard line. All they need is a field goal to make it a two-score game, but they are going for the jugular and the touchdown. And he walks his in for the score. Touchdown, Gamecocks. And that is why you never quit on a play. Fourth down, down by the goal. Oh, they're faking it. The holder's going to try to throw it. And he's out of bounds, short of the goal line. He almost found a way to convert that phase. 
Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Lewis. They drag him down at the 22. He gambled for the big return out of the end zone and came up a little short. Now the Trojan offense returns to the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to kick and kick and kick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Line is set on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And the Trojans moving quickly to the line. On fourth down, looking to pass. Complete and looking for enough for the first down. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. They were willing to spin that wheel of fortune in their own territory, and it paid off. And it came up good. <laughs> I mean, I think you see the aggressiveness by these offenses now, willing to go for it on their own. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. First down sack pushes it back. Now it's second down. Looking to pass. It's Crowder. They're working that left side. And they swarm him under. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Looking to throw for it. Release to the back. Caught near the sticks. It's Taylor. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out working on those critical down and distances. Third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. Just what this offense was looking for sets him up at the 26 for the first down. That's the end of the quarter, and South Carolina has the lead. And that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. Now, the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. He wants to throw. Fires okay. toward the end zone. I'm going home, bro. And he intercepts it. Trying to take it back. He's out of bounds, showing off the hands on the okay. I can't the throw. I can't throw the whole piece, bro. What the fuck is going on? Start for this quarterback here. Oh, it's supposed to go over, bro. Oh, sorry. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had fires in the traffic intercepted. Just a small return, but a big play as they have it now at the 45. It's so nice to see defenders squeeze that pigskin. A lot of times, in great position, you see them there to make the play. But there's a reason they play defense. Not this time. Great job securing the interception. Throws to the back. And he dropped it. Just didn't work the thing all the way in. Ball still at the 45. After the incompletion, they'll snap it second and 10. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. Out of the backfield, he's open. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there. Going downfield for the big play. And it's picked off for the third time today. Taking it the other way. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. And that's just excellent coverage. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Mm -hmm. Look at everybody playing man across the board. They still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody oh, open. Bro, bro. She's pissing me off, bro, because I'm a man beating him, bro. Tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, 
gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB. Yeah, so like that, you know, you know he knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. He's going to pass. Makes the grab on the left. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. It is so good for an offense early in the game to get in a rhythm and to start stringing first downs. And it's picked off. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. We've just seen in this game the ball has just gotten away from him a little bit. A couple of times, just hasn't been able to put it where he wants to. And as a result, that's now his second pick thrown in this game. Quick completion on the out. Net had all the makings of bug meat windshield, but how about the little corner taking on the big tight end and keeping him from getting the first? Back to throw, it's Crowder. Flips it out in the flat. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Now, on offense, you're trying to get your running back involved here in the passing game, and obviously no success on that play. Defense seemed like they were aware of it, and all of a sudden you set yourself up in a tough position here on third. Out of the shotgun on third down. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. Man, how tough is this guy to defend? He drops back, everything tells you pass, and then he scrambles and gets the first down. Just so hard to defend. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. The Trojans want to pick up the tempo. Looking to throw on second down. Just can't pull the trigger, and the quarterback is sacked at the 41. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they built the lead. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's cut. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. No need it. to go and the ball defense just cradling that fumble and securing it and he's brought down and his defense gets the ball back for its own the defense comes up big time on the fourth down play trying to get the stop making sure he doesn't get a first down the fumble it's just the icing on the sunday that's fine we'll take it but more importantly they got the big stop and turnover on downs a first down sack can be a drive killer now it's second and 13. Looking downfield, it's Sellers. They're bringing heat. Still running at the 40. Makes the stop at the 35-yard line. They rip off 15 yards on that one, and they are rolling. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. He's looking to throw it. Forced out of the pocket. He'll try to do it himself. Good run on the play, and he slides to avoid the hit. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't, and he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Trying to get to it. Just too much heat that time, and they knock him down at the 31. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. He's looking for a man on second down. He's got it. Bounced off his feet. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. And that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free, and fourth down is coming up. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range, and they can take the three points on the board. On fourth down, going to the air. <laughs> That's bullshit, bro. And they'll put 
that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Oh, deep, bro. Nobody decides to cover my man, makes the play, shows off the hands first, got to make the catch first, does the rest, walks in the end zone for the touchdown. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further, lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Guys, the Troy offense returns to the field. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like, this is, this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. You got to get some points on the board. I think they make it all back, so I'm like, all right, let me start it right over. Oh, man. Man, nice job getting the pass to go back in the game. This is big, man. Go into the half. Now, listen, I know you're trailing. You're building so many men. Maybe this second half we can keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit. Who knows? Two seconds. And they add the extra point to finish the drive. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. He'll bring it out. It's Russell. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. They've got time. They've got the lead, and David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but also momentum is hard to create and sometimes hard to stop. You have it, so Jesse, don't do anything stupid to create some momentum for the other side. Why I think a lot of this comes down to your quarterback and whether or not he's making good decisions in this game. If yes, be aggressive. If not, let's just take the lead into halftime and get ready for the second. To the air, it's Sellers. Fires to the middle. Wide open downfield. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. We see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. He's open, to take a shot. He's open. Touchdown, South Carolina. <laughs> Every other time, that shit is short. Like, Every other time. I'm under. I switch under. I'm like, yep, this short. Nope. I do that shit every time. I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us right there. They'll try to attack one more on their score. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that replay scoring drive. And they close the deal with a 58-yard touchdown pass. Fielded in the end zone. It's wrong. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So guys, we'll have another look at this Troy offense. Now, they're backed up here, Jesse. Wonder how aggressive they're willing to be. I think it's going to come down to how much confidence they have in oh. this quarterback and his decision-making because you cannot throw an interception at this part of the field with this little time left. And I think that's conversations you've had with the young fellow on the sideline. Be like, what are you comfortable with right here that we can run? Maybe stay aggressive, but make sure I don't make that mistake. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. <laughs> Just enough time to get off one more snap. On third and long, try to convert through the air. He's got it down the right side. And the big game, and they've got it on the 46. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. One oh more God. snap coming before halftime. They'll throw it on first down. 
unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. They finally make the stop. That's going to make those halftime stats look a little bit nicer as we head to the break. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. The Gamecocks will kick it off to start the second half. Coming out with it, it's Ross. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. Now the Trojan offense returns to the field. They come into this third quarter with a lot of work they need to get done. Yeah, and it starts with this possession. And, and I'm, I'm going piece by piece. I know this is coach speaking, very simple. I score, I get a stop. I score, I can get back in this game, but it's got to be one drive right now. It, it's going to have to be, but I think the mindset offensively is we're probably going to have to score every time we get it because our defense has been struggling. They have not been getting a lot of stops. So this is a critical drive here for this offense. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. And the Trojans in the hurry up. Give to the back. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to drive. Third and medium? Hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. Looking downfield, it's Crowder. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Well, this defense has been dominating their opponent all game long, and I think you're really seeing the fruits of their labor on the recruiting trail. They have got some dudes up front, out of high school, in the portal, and those guys are just wreaking havoc on this offense. It's incomplete, a fourth down stop, and the turnover on down. A great spot to start this drive for the offense. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. On target to the left. Touchdown, Gamecock. And the punishment has been extended. This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up. Completely comfortable. Knows exactly what he's getting. Had so much success today. These niggas up there. Nah, it's not even the team. This game, I just don't understand. And they did attack on that extra point without any adventure. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Going back to only that nigga. He'll bring it out. It's Ross. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Guys, the Troy offense returns to the field. They were really aggressive going for it in their own end last time and put them in a tough spot, David. Yeah, aggressive, reckless. They got to find the balance with this offense to really be productive. And last possession they went for it, they rolled the dice ball, and it didn't work out well. Yeah, if you're better on third down moving forward, though, you can keep yourself out of those situations. Stand it. Come on. And it's picked off for the fourth time today. You hit him high for for a big return. Yeah, that shit was for the hell for the hell of hell. What a game changing play by this defense. Nice job. You got them backed up in their own territory coming out. Now you force the turnover. Set your offense up with some great scoring field position. Looking to throw it's Sellers. Pass rush gets there, gets home, gets him down at the 23. And the Gamecocks headed quickly to the line. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Looking for the end zone. That's crazy. Down, and the route is on. That's <laughs> Rich Rod. He's fucking the dumb thing. You know what I'm about to just nobody else. Get them, my boys. 
Una big red. How you are? season everything has built to this the battle for the national championship and college football immortality a moment that every young football player grows up dreaming about and these two teams have survived the expanded playoff grind they have battled through a regular season multiple playoff victories all sorts of challenges and adversity and they've arrived at this moment the battle for that precious trophy Taking on a squad from the Big 12, the Colorado okay. Buffalo. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined as always by Kirk Kerbstreet. And this is it. Two teams enter. Russian and Lucky as a Russian team. Here as national okay. champions. Okay. Let's get this going. And my brand is not going to be crushed, but that shit. That's crazy. Colorado got their own celebrations. That's the crap. Colorado. Oh, that is the club. Like I said, only they can celebrate like this. Amen. You can't, you can't fucking buy it then. I mean, it's they shit. They the only ones doing it. How you gonna show the ice and you ain't got no ice? Come on. Mm -hmm. As you show us again? No, I'm saying, ain't that, ain't that the celebration? Oh, dude, my son got his watch on, though. That shit breaking, daddy. That shit coming in shirt? Yeah. Watches like that? You probably got that shit. They covering it knowing you doing bullshit like that? You publicly hoaxing. On my wrist, though, yeah. Ah. Uh, They ain't gonna find that nigga. This nigga's badges. Hmm? Look at this nigga's badges. To, like the football hood. This they badges. Oh, 
this is pretty much what I want. The kickoff team is out there, and you can feel the energy. One game to determine the national championship. Bringing it out, it's Robinson. Tackled at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. So Oregon's offense will begin backed up off that poor return. Here we go. The energy in this building is absolutely amazing. Kurt, we are just 60 minutes away from crowning a new national champion in college football. And think about it as a player, this is really what you dream about. This is what you work towards, having an opportunity to get to the national championship. Both these teams have worked hard. Now they're here. Let's see how it plays out. Quick throw to the left side. And the senior quarterback puts a little bit too much on the throw. The Ducks will crank up the tempo. Takes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Ram down the middle. It's Stewart. Tackle made after a solid game to spot the ball for 31. Boy, nice completion here by this Oregon offense to be able to show you it's not just about the quarterback's ability to run. Often you associate that with that Oregon quarterback, right? That dual threat guy, guy that can run it. Do not forget about their ability to throw the football out in Eugene. Think about Darren Thomas, the career that he had. He started for a few years, took his team all the way to the national championship, made some big throws. Justin Herbert, of course, enough said we see it every NFL Sunday, what he can do. Four-year starter for the Ducks. We're still seeing these Ducks quarterbacks being able to throw the football. Looking to make a play deep downfield. Well, nearly an interception here on the opening drive. He's going to bring up third down instead. Chris, a big part of the reason they're playing in this national championship is they're an aggressive offense. They didn't hit this one, but I love the idea, and I think it sends a clear message that this defense better be ready to defend the long ball. And he moves the ball across midfield and picks up a first down. Well, if you're going to win a national championship, when you get to third downs, you've got to find a way to convert. And here on this opening drive, it's exactly what this offense has been able to do. This time on the ground, keep those sticks moving. This one is broken up and yep. incomplete. But Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. Quick throw to the left. He pulls it in for a big game. They bring him down, but not before he gets inside the 30-yard line. And the Ducks with first and ten here. And all of our prep work coming into this national championship, I really wondered how this secondary would hold up against this quarterback and this group of receivers. They better be ready to make some adjustments because right now, this quarterback is having his way with it. That completion makes it second and short. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Tackle, but first down. Well, this is exactly what you want to see as an offense to open up a football game. Everything seems to be working, whether they're running the football, as we saw right there, able to protect, throw the football with timing and rhythm, everything on full display for this offense to let this defense know they could be in for a long day. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Looking to throw, it's Gabriel. Let's it go quickly. That one falls incomplete. No way. Flag, get it. Third 
Yeah, they be holding me, son. I'm gonna get dropped for four, man. It's not gonna be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. On third down, he drops to throw. Fires it to the wide out. Not enough on that one. It falls incomplete. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. Looking for the wide out. Sure. He's got it near the end zone. And he scores! <laughs> Touchdown! He's a good home. Fucking game. Right the national championship game, you can't okay. do a better job than setting the Look, it's the biggest game of the year, so you got to bring your best and opening. I was working for that. That was a mixture of run and throw. That's how you get this thing started. And the point after is good. That's good. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. He's going to bring this out a few yards deep in the end zone. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. So Colorado's offense gets their first crack now. This wide receiver, Kirk, is so dynamic. He puts a lot of pressure on the corners. And frankly, the safeties are going to have to get involved in coverage today, right? Yeah, the free safety is going to be tempted here to make plays. But this quarterback has a favorite target. He comes up with most of the 50-50 balls. They expect to see plenty of double coverage and help from this free safety today. Wasting no time. He's going to go deep on the first play. They bring him down, but not before an explosive play through this offense through the air. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. First down, we're going to throw the ball. Fires it to the wide out. There's a fastball, but it's intercepted. He's got some Just need hold some bro. here. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. Really nice job of mixing up the looks here by this defense. Sometimes man, sometimes zone. They fool the quarterback here completely, and he throws the pit. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. The pocket breaking down. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. In college football today, the quarterbacks get rid of the ball often so fast that this is a great example for young players on the defensive line. If you can't get to the quarterback, watch their eyes and try to get your hands up so when the ball comes, you can knock it away. Close to the tight end. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. That is a huge play. Finally brought down at the 46-yard line. Boy, they do a great job here in play action. The linebackers were completely full. Two or three steps up within the line of scrimmage. Opened up a nice lane behind the backers, between the safeties, for the quarterback to make the read. And he's going to stretch the defense, taking a deep shot here. Aren't you taught on defense, Kirk? Don't let him throw the football over your head. Exactly what happened there. That makes me really wonder if it was some kind of miscommunication. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I pull my defensive backs over, make sure everybody's on the same page and getting the right call. Point after, up and good. The kickoff team on the field now is a...